Hunting is a big part of Red Dead Redemption 2. A lot goes into it and you can get quite a bit out of it. But with so much going on in the early game of Red Dead Redemption 2, it's quite easy to go off track with what it is you're exactly supposed to do while hunting. So I bring you... A Noob's Ultimate Guide to Hunting! Let's begin! So you will need a few things. First of all, as many different guns and different types of ammunition you can muster. They are all stored away on your trusted four-legged mule, so the more the merrier. The basic outline is, you need a vomit rifle for the small critters, a bow or a normal rifle for medium-sized animals, and dynamite for bears and alligators! No, don't use uh, dynamite, although it is quite funny. I, I really hate bears in this game, they're, they're horrible. You'll need a long scope rifle for those bastards. Now, the tricky part is the ammunition. You'll need certain types of ammunition for certain animals, but we are diving into the nitty gritty of that pretty soon. Now, let us begin. Cue the hunting music. Mr. Morgan is in the bayou. There's been word of an enormous alligator wrecking havoc upon all the poor fishermen. So Mr. Morgan is our go-to man to track down and absolutely wreck this fool. And oh my sweet guy, there it is right in front of us. First of all, we need to know what gun to use on this bastard. And you simply do this by studying the animal. If you are an absolute mad lad, you walk right up to him, aim and study him. If you are a pussy, you use your binoculars. I already mounted one of these and studied them, so I will use my binoculars to study that pink flamboyant bird back there. As you can see, a vomit rifle is best used to kill that little bastard. But back to the task at hand, the alligator. A long scoped rifle or special arrows is best used for him. Grabbing the long scope rifle now. Now the quality of the animal depends on three things. One, the animal itself. Some of them are bigger and have nicer skins. Two, if you're using the right gun or not. And three, did you take it down without ruining the skin by misfiring a million times? So for our alligator friend over here, pow, round the kisser. Now let's skin this bad boy and reel her in. You sell your animals to the trappers. Now you'll get a bit of coin for this, but also you're gonna give the man stock to create some new clothing items. You look at the desired piece you want, go hunting following these steps and you're good to go. So, I said the animals come in all different size. Uh, the bigger the animal, the more it's worth. Uh, you simply check this out by studying the animals and if you see that one or two star, don't even bother going for them. Only the best of the best is worth your time. So go for those three starred animals. Now one last thing, there's arrows. Yes, there are a bunch of different arrows which cannot be bought in stores. You're gonna have to craft them yourself by simply setting up camp Going to the ammo section and there you have it, an assortment of different arrows. Now a tiny spoiler alert, if you do not want to know how to obtain the poison ones because they require you to have a recipe, uh, don't watch this video from this point on out. Alright, I think I've given enough time now to click away. You'll find that one in the general store down in Rhodes, it's a town you go, you come by naturally if you follow the storyline. Well, that will be it. I hope you did enjoy this quick guide to hunting animals. If there are any questions or whatsoever, do let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to uh, answer them to the best of my capability. If you want to see more of these, do let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Okay, peace out.